Hey everyone, this is Jeff, and in this video I'm gonna be showing you uh, the new animated menu I created for Storyline 2. I just posted it on my blog, and um, as you can see, it, it features a couple of uh, really cool things. Um, the menu itself is based on the Slide Master, so we can easily maintain it. So it's just one location, and we use that layout slide for our content. And that pulls up uh, menu uh, the menu that is actually built into the slide master with with its own layers. Um, it really has a smooth intro and exit animation, which I'll show you in a second. And it features a nice hoover and completed state, so you can play with that. Um, the menu itself is slightly transparent, so if you use a a background image, it will really bleed through nicely, um, as you can see in the demo. Okay, so let's take a quick look at what this thing actually looks like. So I've got my uh, course here and got a nice big background image and I've got this nice hamburger style menu. And when I click it, this uh, menu just slides in very subtly. And as you can see, there's a nice hoover state. There's the completed state, which you can set with some, some variables and triggers. And if, uh, if you can see it, you know, the, it's, it's so ever slightly transparent. So this, this nice big background image just solely bleeds through. So that's really a nice feature. And uh, uh, like I said, the, the, the intro and, and, and uh, entrance animation just really feels smooth. So one of the major benefits of a menu like this is, you know, it, it's in a style you see in a lot of responsive designs. You see it in apps, you see it in websites. Uh, um, so uh, this is a way to really clean up your screen real estate uh, uh, in a way that the menu is still only there with a simple click. Now you can expand on this kind of menu with uh, say a hidden menu item which is the uh, final course assessment for, uh, which will only appear or become unlocked if all the chapters have been completed. You could add some additional icons here for like more info, contact us, uh, resource and download. So you can really expand on this menu if you like. Uh, but, uh, but basically, this is the, the, the functionality here. So really cool. So let's see how that works in, in Storyline. As I said, it's just a single slide uh, uh, demo. And if I open it, you'll see I've got a, a blank slide here. Uh, I'll open up the timeline. There are no objects on this slide because all the stuff you see here is just an image background, which I set with by selecting the slide and formatting the background. Uh, but you know the uh, actual menu button and the hotspot you see here is based on the slide master. The only thing here I do in this uh, example is set some uh, variables to true. I've got five variables here, uh, true, false variables, which by default are false. And I use these to measure the uh, complete state of a menu. Uh, for instance, if I've got a chapter, the final slide of my chapter could set this uh, variable to true. And then whenever I visit the menu, uh, it will give, place a nice check mark behind it. So as I said, all the content is in the Slide Master. So we go there by going to the View uh, tab and selecting Slide Master. And in the Slide Master, I created a single layout. And this is the actual slide. I gave it a slight blue background color here. So I can easily find it back in all the other uh, default layouts. And what you see here is that on the actual slide base layer, I've got uh, my hotspot which is actually placed on top of the of the icon there and the icon which is uh, actually just a group of three lines so uh, by using it this way I can also reuse it and recolor it so if I have a, a darker background uh, I can just you know select this group uh, go to format and select different color for my uh, for my outline uh, and that will change the actual color as you can see uh, of my my icon so it's really adaptable that way let me turn back on the hotspot so the hotspot actually has a trigger to it which will uh, uh, open up a layer 
in this case, the show menu layer. And this is where the magic really happens. Uh, uh, basically, I've got some items here, uh, a big uh, rectangle, which is semi-transparent. Again, it's a shape, so you can recolor it to whatever uh, need you have. Then we've got the menu items, um, and these got states. As you can see, normal state, Hoover state. Again, this is just a text box with a, uh, uh, a color fill. So if you want to change the color, just go up here to the Format tab, uh, say Shape Fill, and, and change that. So you can really uh, play around with your menu and give it the own look and feel you need. Got my complete state here, with ha which has the check mark icon. Uh, so that's it. Really simple, right? Um, again, another thing we see here is uh, the hamburger menu with its hotspot, and that's just happening right here. And I, I, I choose to have the hotspot uh, placed in a little later, uh, so uh, when the thing is flying in, it's not clickable yet. So when you actually click that hotspot, uh, it will open the hide menu layer. And this just has an exit animation. So the show menu and the height menu layer really work together. They're both one second long. And in the show menu, it has an animation that lasts for about a second, uh, eases the menu into the screen. And actually on the height menu, you've guessed it, it has an exit animation and it eases itself out of the screen. So that's really how it works. Uh, really simple, um, you can use any type of uh, background and you use that on the slide level not on the slide mask level of course if you want you could do that uh, but this makes it a, a really flexible template so I hope you like it uh, let me know in the comments of the blog uh, if you've got any questions don't hesitate to, to post them there as well and uh, I look forward to, uh, to your comments see you out there